Hello everyone, today I'm reviewing this beautiful made to move Barbie and um, her name online is Dark Hair Made to Move <laughs> so uh, but she's one of the newer ones because she comes with the floral trousers and the best thing about her is she actually has velcro on the back of her top and it's not just slip on because I have such a hard time trying to get them tops on and off so this is the first dark skinned doll I've been able to buy in uh, the made to move because they are always out of stock and she is stunning and she has the face of the Tropicana cutie or whatever her name is um, she does have one eye smaller and slightly in the wrong place unfortunately it's a problem when you order online you never know what you're gonna get unfortunately but I can't find her in a store it's not it's quite obvious I think it's more obvious on camera than it is in person but it is it's kind of annoying but she's still beautiful you can probably see there we go and also she has a lot of gel on the side of her face I don't know if you can see it's kind of sad <laughs> but um, I'm going to boil wash her hair because I really think it would look much nicer if she had it down but her hair is really pretty so hi Lily there's Lily <laughs> so she has like different shades of brown in her hair here she is and of course she's made to move so she has lots of bendable parts her head doesn't seem to bend down as much as the others or I think she does it no she does bend actually I thought she didn't but I'm not sure but her head does bend sorry as you can see it bends up it bends down maybe not as much as before but it still does bend down a bit <laughs> I think it's not too bad, but she does have this part anyway. She has like the the joint in her, you know, around her tummy area. Hello, Lo, are you cuddling your teddy? <laughs> she has this little, cool. She has this little joint in like here, so not her not being able to look down is not a massive problem. Like she does look down, but not as much, I don't think. And obviously she can move her wrists, her elbows, her arms tops of her arms she can move her knees and her her ankles even have a joint which is amazing um I do really like her outfit she has a gray at the top with a pink stitch in there she has a little bit that looks like it's been tied on the side of gray bit and then purple at the bottom it's all one piece though and then her trousers are really lovely I love these they're leggings really so she has black stitch in there black stitching at the bottom and then she has like purple and pink flowers all over them they're really pretty and of course like I said she's lovely and poseable and other than like all my other dolls have very light skin tone but this is my darkest skin tone um, made to move Barbie and I think she's stunning and like I said she looks like that um, other doll that I could never get so I didn't have this face mold I could never get this beautiful face mold but now I finally got it I'm so glad so um, I'm just gonna take her hair down so you can see um, what she's going to look like but then I am going to be boil washing her hair because I don't think it's going to look that amazing from uh, obviously being up as high as it is but I think I did see somebody on Amazon took her hair down and obviously boiled washed it or something and it looked amazing so I think she will look just as good I just think her hair's going to look so much nicer down in my opinion and I'm going to change her into a dress of some sort so I'm just going to um, pause a second. Oh, she's fallen over. <laughs> I'm just going to pause a second. Hold on. Hi. So I did put her hair down and I was very disappointed because her hair is very thinly rooted on top. Um, I put it back up. Actually, I think it looks a little bit better the way I've put it up. It doesn't look quite as high up. But I'm really sad because they've really thinly rooted her on top. So it's like you can't put her hair down without her looking very... Her hair looking very sparse. Now, I don't have um, any... Well, I've never, ever rerouted a doll in my life. And I wouldn't even... I mean, I've seen people do it online, obviously. But I've never attempted to do it or anything. I don't have any of the tools. So, unless you've got something to reroute this doll, you're going to struggle with um, rerouting. I'm just seeing how I've done at the back. It's actually not bad the way I've put it back up. I actually really like it. 
Well, seeing as I'm not going to be boil washing her hair, I will grab an outfit for her to wear. <laughs> because um, I actually think she's really pretty anyway. Yeah, I think she's beautiful, with, even with her hair up. Well, I'm not going to be able to put her hair down, unfortunately. Because I think she would have looked... Because the, the person who did it online, like on Amazon, it was on Amazon.com, like they put pictures on there. And she looked so cool with her hair down. I mean, I don't know if they, like, had added some rooting in, or maybe theirs wasn't as thinly rooted as mine, I don't know. But, yeah, it's a shame. But I think she does it better the way I've put it up. I don't think... I've put it up slightly... Um, further back I think or something it just looks a bit different to me anyway maybe it doesn't look any different but but yeah but let me just change her into another outfit and see how she looks in a dress instead of what she's got on now which I do think is beautiful but I think she'll look even better in a dress won't be a boo so here she is wearing another fashionistas outfit this is the deluxe fashionistas outfit um sweet and sporty she's got the the top on the hat on that she comes with the visor and then this is the dress that she came with, the Sweet and Sporty doll, who I will review another day. Um, and then, um, I can't remember whose shoes these are. <laughs> they came with another doll. Um, whose shoes were they? I'm trying to think. Oh, I think they were, um, I think these shoes came with um, Blue Violet, the other deluxe fashionista, yeah. I think these are really cool and they go really nice with the dress. That's the only problem with uh, made to moves. They never come with shoes. I know that they're supposed to be yoga dolls and stuff, but they never come with shoes annoyingly. So yeah, she looks nice with these shoes on. And I gave her this bag, which I think came with that the deluxe doll that came with this, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I would have to check. <laughs> um, and then I can take the visor off, of course, and I think maybe she looks better without the visor. So I think she looks really nice in this dress. I think it really suits her. I'm probably going to leave her in this, but I do really love her other outfit that she came in originally. Um, and it's really nice to have another fashion, another made-to-move doll, especially in a darker skin tone and not all the same colour. It's lovely to have a darker skin tone made-to-move as well. Um, like I said, I, they're impossible to find. I'm probably not going to change her face because I love her face. But... Um, yeah, I just love the way she looks. I think she's so super pretty. I mean, maybe I'll find another doll one day and think, oh, I prefer that one. But at the moment, I'm going to leave her like this because I do really like her. Like I said, I would have liked her even more if I could have put her hair down. But unfortunately, I cannot because she is very thinly rooting. Unfortunately, that's the only problem with a doll with her hair up. I don't like it when they put their hair up because... They often make them really thinly rooted and then you take their hair out and it looks awful. So it's a real shame. So yeah, that's kind of sad, but I still really like her. And like I said, I didn't have this face mould, so it's really nice to have this beautiful face mould um, on this doll. And I think she is beautiful and obviously very poseable, which is awesome. So... There you go, she's waving. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this doll. Like I said, I think she's beautiful. I just really wish they'd rooted her better. <laughs> They've given her more hair. Um, and also that her eyes weren't derped. I mean, let me know how bad they are, but I know one of them looks smaller and in a different pace, if you, know, you see what I mean. One of them's closer to her eye, unfortunately. She does have quite small eyes, though, luckily. So I <laughs> was make it even more obvious but yeah other than that i think she's beautiful let me know what you think of her let me know what you think of her in her new dress and what you think of these clothes like i said i really like the difference i love the fact that she comes with flowers on the leggings it makes it a bit different and i love the fact they've done an actual velcro on the back some other tops were so annoying to get on and off a real pain they've done the little ribbon on the side so a little bit more fancy i just really wish they'd give them shoes more often because <laughs> You know, the doll that came with this dress only came with one pair of shoes, so... So, yeah. And then this doll obviously didn't come with it anyway. But luckily, I've got spare shoes. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a bit annoying. Because, um... The petite doll that came with these, obviously, the petites fit the original as well, luckily. So, that makes it easier. But yeah, let me know, know what you think of this doll. She'll probably be the only one I get out of the made to move, other than possibly one of... If I ever see a curvy that matches... A doll that I want to swap. <laughs> Maybe I'd get a curvy because I would love to get a curvy, but I don't really like the face on the curvy that comes in the same collection. Um, 
and I do really like the face model of the red haired one, red haired made to move, but she never seems to be in stock. I think she's really beautiful, but yeah, unless I'm going to get one, you know, unless I'm going to get the other one, I'm not massively can I face mod to swap her head, but I don't know what, who she matches, if you see what I mean. So I think she's quite light skin tone, and I don't really have any light skin tone dolls that I want to swap that are actually curvy from what I can see anyway, <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe I will get a I would love to get a curvy made to me, but it's just um, whether I have uh, a doll to swap if I don't like the head, and then obviously if I do like the head, you know, that's fine, but the red doll seems to always be out of stock. Oh, my battery is really low. <laughs> so um, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think of this beautiful doll. Let me know if you've got her, and if yours has a uh, thin rooting, very annoying but like I said she's still very beautiful I might put a pair of sunglasses or something on her head that might look really nice because I do have some spare sunglasses I think so I think she would look really good with a pair of sunglasses on her head hold on actually I'll grab a pair let's see <laughs> when in doubt add some sunglasses well that makes her look so much better because her hair looks a bit too flat on top that looks so much nicer I think a pair of sunglasses really adds a lot of um you know it just adds a lot to the doll it makes her look yeah, it just makes her look so much nicer with the sunglasses on. Makes her hair look less um, straight and flat at the top. So yeah, these are cool. These are glasses off of the Rockstar Glam doll, I think her name is. These are her sunglasses, so yeah. Just add them to it as well. So yeah, let, let me know what you think of her. My flash seems to have come back on because it turned off before. And now it's back on, which is awesome. So yeah, she's absolutely stunning, I think. And I like her even better with the sunglasses on with this dress. So like, comment and subscribe. Sorry I've said that so many times. 